Welcome everyone, this is the second video on outlier analysis and in this video we are going to see some of the useful ways of dealing with outliers. In the previous video we have seen that what an outlier is and what are the possible causes of outliers and how it can be detected. And we have also talked about that it is necessary to be a little skeptical or curious whenever we come across such an exceptional value. Now let us discuss some of the ways by which we can deal with outliers. One of them is discarding the outliers from the dataset, dropping the outlier but keeping in record, winsorizing is a good method of dealing with outliers, variable transformation is one of them. We can use a different model to fit the data and of course we can use the non-parametric method instead of the parametric method for dealing with with outliers. So let us take the first one. Now suppose that we have a variable and this is the distribution of the variable and the box plot suggests the presence of three outliers. Now if we can find out, if we can analyze that dropping these outliers is not reflecting the result but however, if keeping the outliers in the dataset is actually violating the assumptions, then it is better to drop these outliers from the dataset. So if dropping the outliers do not affect the result, but affects the assumption, then we can drop the outliers. However, in most of the cases, outlier both affects the assumptions and the result. And that calls for using the second method, which is dropping the outlier but keeping it in record. A very interesting example has been cited in the website mathisfun.com that a long jump coach has been working with a long jump team for a month and that has affected the performance of the athletes. And here's the result. We can see that everybody has showed an improvement. The positive sign reflects uh, improvement than what they were doing previously. But there is one who actually did not show any improvement, but whose performance has deteriorated very poorly. So if we plot these values in the number line, we can see while all of these, their performance lies somewhere over here, Sam's performance is way out of the line and it is at a far distance from the rest of the observations and thus is an outlier in the dataset. Now if I want to understand the performance of the coach, rather the overall performance of the coach and calculate the mean, it gives me a value of a negative 0.01 meter which shows that the overall performance of the coach is negative that is since the time the coach has joined this team the overall performance actually did not increase but it got decreased so can we say that the coach is useless because the overall performance of the team came out to be negative now let's drop Sam's performance out of the data and recalculate the mean. Then we find that the mean is a positive 0.1 meter. Now that makes a lot of sense and it shows that the performance of the coach is much better. But understand that outlier is a part of the data and we just cannot remove it like that, especially when it's affecting the result in this way. Well, the value associated with Sam may actually be a true value and that probably Sam was sick that day or something went wrong with Sam on that day that made him perform in a way like that. So that does not show that the performance of coach is bad because the rest of the performance showed an improvement in their performance. So it's better that if we drop the outliers but it's advisable to keep it in record another most commonly used method in dealing with outlier is winsorizing 
Now consider this distribution and the box plot suggests that we have two outliers over here and one outlier over here. The whiskers of the box plot are not usually the minimum or the maximum value. For example, in this case it is the minimum of the maximum value or Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Over here it's the maximum of the minimum value or Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Now one thing that we can do is that we can replace these outliers by these values of the box plot. Okay. And we can replace the, this outlier by this value of the box plot. So next time when we plot this box plot using this winds rise data we will find the exactly same distribution except that there won't be any outliers so we have replaced this outlier with this value over here and this value over here and this is called winds rising another useful method in dealing with outliers is to transform the entire variable for example this is the distribution of variable x which contains two outliers and this is the distribution of the log of the variable x and we can see that by transforming variable x to the logarithm of the variable x we have actually managed to get rid of the outliers because logarithm has a property to drag the data inward we can try fitting different models to our data to deal with outliers for example so we have two variables x and y and the variable x and y shows a pretty linear relationship except that we have some values over here so these are definitely the outliers because they are lying at a distance from these observations. So in this case probably fitting a linear model will not be helpful. We can try fitting a curve that fits the data well. And of course we have some other methods to use, the non-parametric methods when the data contains outliers. Well, non-parametric methods are suitable when the data contains outliers because outliers tend to violate the assumption of the parametric model. For example, instead of using the linear regression, we can make use of the regression tree. Instead of using the logistic regression, we can make use of the classification tree. Now this linear regression and logistic regression, they are both the parametric methods. Whereas regression tree and classification tree, they are non-parametric methods. We will discuss more about these, these models later in the tutorial. So these are some of the ways by which we can deal with outliers. In the next video we will see how to write some R codes to use some of these methods to deal with the outliers present in our data set. So keep watching, have a nice time, please do subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.